Hey guys, check it out. We've got two Tundras and two loads that we're gonna tow. We've got the old one over my right shoulder and we've got the new one over my left shoulder. And in this video, we're gonna do an old versus new towing test. But uh, I think the person with the CDL should be doing the towing. Who's that, pray tell? That could be me. That's right, Andre's behind the camera. So first thing you're probably wondering is how much weight are we towing? That Airstream is about 7,600 pounds, according to the sticker. Let's find out how much this older, well, it's an Innsbruck by Gulfstream. Let's see how much that weighs. Ideally, the two would be about the same, so we could do an apples to apples comparison, but we are here with Toyota and they set this up. So it's really, you know, up to them, not up to us. Yeah. So we're doing the best that we can to figure out exactly how much these guys weigh. And check out the sticker, Andre. Uh, okay, so it weighs something. <laughs> it weighs something. We're gonna hope it's about 7,600. So which one do you want to tow with first? Do you want to try the old Tundra or the new Tundra, Andre? Well, it's V8 versus V twin turbo V6, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So let's do old first and see how the new one does. All right, and that is coming up right now. And Andre, why don't you give me the camera uh, and you're the one who should be doing all the magic. Roman, let's try out this older second gen truck, the 1794 Texas edition. Can you hold my uh, camera for a second? Yes. Let's put my seatbelt on so it doesn't beep at us. This video was made possible by our friends at manscaped.com. Manscaped just came out with their new refined body wash and it's even alcohol free, it's cruelty free. Look at that, it's gluten free. Get your hands on one of these and you certainly won't be scaring off any ladies around Halloween. It's also aluminum. If you get the performance package kit, you'll also have yourself a waterproof lawnmower 4.0. Trying to groom yourself without the proper set of tools can quickly become like a scene out of an 80s slasher movie. You can skip the horror show by getting yourself a proper set of tools. We all know from working in the garage that proper tools make the job go smoother. That being the case, your manhood is not the place to skimp out on your tools. To make sure you never run out of supplies, enroll in the peak hygiene plan. Go to manscaped.com and use the promo code FASTLANETRUCK for 20% off your order plus free shipping. Trust me, your balls and your body will thank you. That's 20% off plus free shipping with the promo code FASTLANETRUCK at manscaped.com. So this is, of course, you know, the truck that's leaving us, right? And the V8. Yeah, I gotta tell you, uh, you know, we've been driving the new one all day and getting into this old one, it certainly starts to feel <laughs> dated very quickly, doesn't it? But, you know, it's got the wood and the small screen, you know, in the V8. So, so Andre, how are we going to tell the difference between these two trucks? You know what? We should use our SoDL GPS device. <gasps> oh, look at there! You mean that thing? Yeah, we'll, we can use that for 0 to 60 impromptu. Yeah, we can find out whether a twin turbo <laughs> V6 is indeed quicker than a good old fashioned V8. No, but, but be mindful, these are not identical trailers. You know, the Toyota set up this drive, right? Yep. Uh, we, we, we can only report as much as we can see, right? <laughs> so they're approximately the same weight, but not identical. But we don't know that. We, 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 we don't even know that. <laughs> yeah. We know what Toyota says, but normally if we were doing this in Colorado, we would obviously weigh it weigh ourselves it and, and yes. you know, do apples to apples. So it's a big old caveat, Andre. So tell me, how is the V8? Let's be quiet, let's listen to it. That is That's, a good sound. It's a classic sound. That's a good sound, dude. Yeah. yeah. So what we have here is 381 horsepower and 401 pound-feet of torque and a good old six-speed automatic. Yeah, four fewer gears. And you know, people are talking about uh, rear axle ratios, right? Yep. Uh, what's this one, do you know? Do you remember? This put is you a fourth. Spot? No, 430, dude. Yeah. So remember how Toyota, I mean, they really went for power, grunt, and actually it feels, you know, not too bad towing this trailer. Yeah, and what's the new one? What's it, rear axle ratio? Uh, the new one is a totally different thing, but because they went to a 10 speed with a rear axle ratio of 331. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, that makes a big difference, but keep in mind, it also has a 10 speed, the new one, yeah. and that really affects the rear axle ratio. So you've got a much broader spread of gears, gears yeah. exactly. So you can have you know power and fuel economy, hopefully, all in one truck. Totally. But dude, with this trailer, 
they're similar in length and size. Uh, I can feel a little bit, a slight pogo. So I don't know if you can feel that, but I can feel on some of these bumps, you know, up and down movement, but yeah, still but pretty stable. It's very comfortable. Yeah. The other thing that, that you know, we, like I said, we've just been driving a new truck. What I'm impressed by is actually the way the hood falls down, right? You can actually see on the front. On this new one? On this old uh, one? one? Yeah, you, yeah. Can, you can see the front of the truck. Uh, whereas on the uh, new one, it's uh, it's like a it's like an aircraft carrier in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> kind of, yes. Yeah. It's an old school, like, Lincoln or Cadillac, right, with a giant hood. Uh, and of course, this is the 1784 edition, which you can also get in the new one, but the new one there is not a 1784, yeah. so this is the one with, ooh, leather. Leather, leather everywhere. Yeah, and all the, all the goodies. But man, that looks old. That looks dated, doesn't it? Look at well, the size of that I thing. I think your, your iPhone is bigger than this, isn't it? <laughs> no, I've got the small one, but, okay. but the big one might be the same yeah. size, yeah. yeah. It feels really dated. Uh, and did you hit the Tohomo there? Oh yeah. Oh, there we go. Easy so, to forget, isn't it? So yeah, so, you know, obviously the old truck still has old tech, but it does have this trailer brake controller, right? But the new truck goes way beyond that, you know, with aerodynamics and uh, trailer sway mitigation, including trailer braking. Uh, all that stuff is, of course, next gen in the, in the new truck. Uh, so luckily we have a nice uh, little uh, a uh, flat bit of road here, yep. uh, straight, uh, not very much traffic, perfect area for a zero to 60. So what I'll do is I'll head on outside yep. uh, and you kind of uh, surprise me with the number, okay? Okay, I will. Uh, the problem is, of course, yeah. let's, let's see if the slow DL figures out. Get ready for my V8 roar, okay, Roman? I, I will get ready for your... Let's, <laughs> let's see if this thing figures out that it's stationary. There it is. Okay, cool. It is stationary, uh, all right, right? All right, all right, here we go. Let's do this, Andre. Okay, I'm going to do zero to 60. Tow hole mode is enabled. Okay. And... Whoa! I spun my tires a little. And... Accelerating 50 and 60. I don't know if you heard the V8 roar, but a lot of the controversy about the new Tundra is that they did get rid of two cylinders, uh, but Ford did that a while ago. So maybe at this point, people are a little bit over the fact that you can actually get more power out of a twin turbo V6 than you can get out of a normally aspirated V8. Let me know in the comments below. Do you miss the old V8 or are you all on board with both electrification, which is the new hybrid version of the uh, Tundra and or um, turboification? Is that a word? Turboification? Turboification? Turbo, turbolizing? Uh, turbo madness? Uh, Turboing? One of those would work. Oh, wait, hold on. Turbo Tundra. Twin Turbo Tundra. I like that. That is good alliteration. I don't have to use that for a headline. The Twin Turbo Tundra. All right, Andre. Let me read him and weep. Read it and weep. 14.39. Yes. So now the question is, let's get behind the wheel of the, uh, the new one. truck right. and see if it's any quicker. So that is the brand new Toyota Tundra, the 2022. That is an Airstream, a $50,000 Airstream, and that is Andre. <laughs> and today we're going to demonstrate something that is new to the 2022 Tundra. Andre, what are we demonstrating here? Well, we're demonstrating a, a way, a technology that this truck has, which helps you backing up a trailer. They call it straight line assist. Basically, imagine you're at like a boat ramp or a campground like this, and it will steer for you and maintain the truck and trailer in line. So it's kind of like the thing that Ford has, that Ram has. Ram has now, yes. But without the little knob. Correct. So no knob, but and so the driver doesn't touch the steering wheel, uh, but the steering wheel is moving by itself. So, so let me show you. It's activated. So now you can see right here, you could see the screen, and I'm going to reverse a little bit. I'm going to give it a little bit of gas, and there is no knob actually. So you can kind of see, and actually the shorter the trailer, the more difficult it is, um, in, in just if you're driving it yourself. So right now. The system is trying to catch me 
and see exactly how it's working. And before the system is enabled, uh, you need... Stick your hands out the window, make some movie magic. I am... Uh, no hands, look ma, no hands. I'm still looking in my mirror though. Um, and before you do this, the trailer, uh, the truck and trailer have to be uh, kind of configured together. So before it, you were able to do this, you have to drive around the block, so to speak. Um, it, it did go kind of a little crooked. It did go a little crooked, yeah. uh, but you know, it went a long ways. All right, all right, well, let's get the thing cockeyed. What I mean by cockeyed is like turn the truck left and keep the trailer straight. Yes, so, and hopefully it will straighten me out. Yeah. So let me enable the system again, right here. Boop. Whoa, it's doing it yourself. I saw that, it's so cool. It just did it. Okay, so let me actually make sure I'm not touching anything. So, so here's my thing about all these systems, right? Yeah. The first one we did was with, uh, I think the Land Rover and then Ford brought it on. Uh, but for the most part, Andre, these systems are great for people who don't have experience towing. Uh, but let's face it, we have it on the TRX, and the only time we ever used it was when we did the video. <laughs> and then I just park it myself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. At, at some point, if you're, you know, like Andre with a CDL, you're probably more comfortable just doing it yourself than having an automated system do it. I would say so. And also, if you're at the boat ramp, uh, it's always kind of nervous situation. Yeah, so, people are watching. Uh, yeah, people are watching. So this could be useful at the, in that scenario. It makes it nice and handy that the new truck, Andre, is red. Yes. And the old truck is brown. Yeah, well, so this is V8 versus twin turbo. Let's see how the twin turbo does. Can you do me a favor and hold this? Yeah, you, you need to buckle up? I need to buckle up, yeah. All right, guys, so what Toyota has, actually, they have a feature called the trailer garage, right? So you can predefine trailers. Um, you can set up the weight, the trailer gain. Look, I have a trailer brake controller right here, integrated trailer brake controller. And this truck is not a hybrid. So this is a twin turbo V6. Tow hole mode activated, right there. So let's, let's talk about horsepower differences, Andre. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. This one has more. Yeah, it does have more. So, of course, we know that, you know, traditional truck guys love the V8, right? That truck had 381 horsepower, like we said. This one has eight horsepower more. So as we pull on the highway, what? 389. What kind of black magic is that, Andre? A twin turbo V6 has more power than a traditional V8? Well, yeah, I think uh, other manufacturers like Ford has already proven that, right? <laughs> so that was that was 45 miles per hour, dude. That was pretty easy. Of course, this truck, this engine also uh, is made it to 10 speed automatic. It has a lot of torque, 479 pound feet of it. So that's quite a lot, and it's low end grunt, about 2400 RPM. You got maximum torque. And here's what I want to see because this airstream is huge, right? Uh, I want to see if we get trailer sway or some sort of uh, you know suspension issue. Well, they also made the track of this a little wider in the back, right, to give it a little bit more stability when towing. Yeah. So the frame is fully boxed, so it's a really solid platform. In the rear, like you said, the frame is a little bit wider. Um, and they have a lot of computer aids, including, of course, trailer sway mitigation and uh, great shifting and all that stuff. And what I love is, look at this, heated and cooled seats. Ha -ha. Uh -huh. Now, uh, you know, we know, of course, the price on the old one, but they're not announcing pricing on this one until the end of the month. So we don't know how much this guy's going to cost, but we do know the fuel economy, at least the non-towing fuel economy. Yeah, and at least the non-hybrid fuel economy, which is about uh, about 17 to 18 city, 22 to 23 highway, depending on how you configure it, and 20 combined. So that's the non-hybrid fuel efficiency. You know what we need, Andre? What? A mountain. Well, this is not a mountain. Well, this is Texas. Yeah. This is near uh, San Antonio, where the truck is built. Actually, the Tundras are hey, built. There's a lake over there. You want, you want to back up? Uh, the airstream into the lake? Well, this is not a boat. <laughs> Let, just, can you zoom in on the tack really quick? Yes, I can do that, Andre. So we're rolling at 50 miles an hour here, uh, near the speed limit, and I'm rolling under 2,000 RPM. 
it's a gentle experience the truck is not stressed with a 7600 pound potentially trailer and I also I can do this check it out I can click my camera I can check my bed or I can check my hitch and I can always uh, this there's a timer it's gonna go away but at least I can check my connections and I know everything is secure. I love that bed view. Can you do the bed view again? Yeah, let's try it. Let's try it again. That's uh, edge view. And there's bed view. That, that not only lets you see your trailer, but also lets you see if you have like stuff in the bed that's flying out. It's a, yeah. it's a, it's a nice little uh, touch. And of course, cameras are everywhere now, so uh, it's good that they've included them. I would say this truck is a lot quieter than the old truck, wouldn't you? Yeah, I, I totally agree. I think they did a couple of things. Uh, overall new, you know, insulation and the latest technology and of course the glass, but also noise cancellation, right? Yeah. All right, guys, Roman just stepped out. I'm going to do a zero to 60 with a trailer. Just remember, this is a pretty heavy one. I'm going to brake torque it just a hair. can hear the whistle from the turbos. The solo DL is rolling. That was about 50 and 60. So, what's number? How fast was that, Andre? Check it out, dude. I'm fairly impressed. You know, with this much... 13.09, huh? Yeah, with this much weight, the big Airstream, 13.09 is not too bad. Well, there you have it, guys. Uh, your first tow with uh, the brand new 2022 Toyota uh, Tundra. Yep. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, see you guys next time. Ciao.